Hey, night, I've been on my grind, running all my time, about to lose my mind. I said, Hey, I, I could change your life. Give it one more night, give it one more try. Hey, guys, it's Finn17, we're back in the video, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get a 120 plus team fast in the Metal 24. Before we do start, make sure to leave a like on the video, join my Discord server, link will be in the description, and let's try to get 100 likes on this video. That would be awesome. And the post notification shout out because this person on the screen right there thank you for having your post notifications on because doing a post notification shout out make sure to be subscribed have your notifications on be one of the first people to comment on one of my videos let's get straight into this guys so uh this is uh of course something that uh i would not have made a video i should say that i would not have made uh you know if the new update had come out like this early uh basically just how to get a 120 team plus fast and i'll, I'll show you guys my team right now uh and obviously you might be thinking you know you don't have one yet if I exchange these Madam Max players that I have from last year, as you guys can see, uh, you know, if I just got like a base iconic to replace them, I would definitely be up there because I have four right now, five if you count Vinatieri. Um, but on my special teams, it's only a 105. So, uh, yeah. So if I got base iconics, I have enough epics to get each of them. I would have a much much better team, of course, with the no update. Uh, but yeah, M23 players are basically just pointless now. So you know, they're useless. Don't. Uh, there's no need. Uh, I guess, you know, a lot of comments I saw said that, you know, you have already good progress because, you know, you have Metamax players. Now that it doesn't matter because M24 players are infinite letter, you know, even the base players as well. So uh, let's get straight into this. I'll start it out with the daily login calendar, as you guys can see right here, um, you know, all the way up to 113 overall uh, for Iconics, the one Iconic that you get. Uh, you know, once per 21 days, and you also get an epic and rare, and obviously these will go up in overall with the fuel pass escalations and stuff like that. Uh, and there will be promo players in here instead of just base, I believe, uh, which is pretty nice. Um, so yeah, you get one free every 21 days, and that's what I've been using. That's what a lot of my base iconics are, you know, from. And then moving on, I should go over promos as well since I just mentioned them. Uh, you can get three uh, iconics per promo, and I make videos on how to get. You know iconics fast and you know and i also make a video saying do this so you can you know know exactly what to do in promos to you know do the most possible and uh for each of the promos so far uh besides game changers because it just came out i only have one game changers player that's aaron donald but the rest i have three iconics per promo uh exactly three and they're just the two extra foils from the first one because i won two giveaways but besides that every single uh, other iconic promo player on my team is you know, just from grinding, I really haven't spent any Madden cash. The only Madden cash I actually spent was for the AKA packs, and, you know, those are pretty bad. So, moving on, you also got the Fuel Pass. Um, let me go right here. I went to the wrong thing. Uh, events, Fuel Pass. Now, even if you don't buy the Fuel Pass, if you do, you get a Fuel Pass player, which is pretty nice. You get an Iconic player select for, you know, free. And then, of course, with the Journey, if you're a certain overall, uh, you can get yourself another additional Iconic, which is what I've been doing. I made a video on how to get, you know, weights fast. So if you want to boost, you know, in the weight room, you can obviously do that. And then the next thing is something that I've said not to do, uh, but that's, you know, spend coins and cash on packs. Uh, but, you know, obviously these packs will get better with the new updates and stuff like that. Uh, so if you want to risk it, you know, go ahead. I'm not really going to spend too much time talking about packs since I think those are pretty self-explanatory. I guess the next thing is team of the week because that's something new. Um, you know, there also will be another, I think, event coming out very soon. I'm not exactly sure. And then a new game mode uh, for leagues. But uh, you can get, you know, uh, team of the week iconics right here. They're pretty easy to get, as you can see in trades. You know, just all you got to do is either exchange your old players or just keep playing events and then stacking up on tokens and then being able to get yourself these iconic players. And I guess the last thing I'll go over is the uh, core trades themselves. You can trade all the way up to an iconic player in trades. And obviously with the players getting better, you can use old epics, old rares, whatever you don't use. And if you want to do this route, you definitely can. And that is pretty much going to be it, guys. So if you look at my team, that's literally all I've been doing. There's nothing out of the ordinary. Everything I've said in this video is what comprises my team, I guess, besides the two giveaways that I won in the MM Discord. But uh, that's pretty much going to be it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one and peace out. I'm about to lose my mind I said, hey, I I could change your life Give it one more night Give it one more try